Onward to victory. We are married. Lovely. So we have our primary wife. Now it's time to find secondary wives. Let's have her and a non-aggression pact on top. That sounds real good. Let's see if there's more geniuses. In that one is perfect. Her and one more. He's also pretty good. We'll take all these. Thank you. Now let's hope that our wives quickly bestow us an heir. Nothing is being built. Take care of that. More stables. More stables. More stables. We're already at 44%. As I said, they probably aren't going to come here at all. They are involved in their own wars somewhere here in the vast expanse. They don't have time to come help Damascus return to its rightful ruler. Most peculiar woman has arrived. Only a matter of months she has named the main for herself as an accomplished warrior. Uh Yeah, no. Thanks. Well, oh, I was wrong. There is an army. Interesting. So they have amassed everything, which is fine. We'll just move our troops into position. They are coming with 14,000. We have a good 16 and this blob and we can always move these up. So these get our primary leaders here. Definitely the mountain expert on the flank there. So let him come. I assume he's going to go here. Oh, he's doing for peace. Okay, he surrenders. He, he sent his army here to not do anything. But he surrenders. Wait. Why am I just getting this? Man. Wasn't all this highlighted too? Great big shame. All right, fine. I'll live with it. And we'll stand down everything else that's left. Nothing is left. Okay. What you own anything anymore? This and that. Oh, that would be perfect. Decadent relative, stop being decadent. Um, Pine burned my only friend on the. Oh, it wasn't even him. I thought it was him. Okay, then. Let's put in 
our friend from Tortosa. And let's change a few rules here. Let's get women up to notable. Can we get to full ever? I just... Pay a little bit of piety. Get women up to notable. Let's check our minor titles. Designated region, she still loves us. Port poet position open. And architect, let's positive thinking in here. Oh yeah, cool. So now we are capable of getting women into the mix of this. This is nice. And it would allow matrilineal marriage, which is usually not allowed for Muslims. So that's pretty cool. And we should definitely go on Harsh Mecca. The great Sayyid arriving. They have a hundred and ten percent strength of what. Not far from our goal. We must have faith, definitely. Another dangerous faction. Not much we can do here. And send a gift to really change his opinion. Wow, that's a lot. Maybe he'll drop out. Listen to the old man and the stewardship. Humbled. Good. Not very cheap. Let's try to get proud. Have lovely. And we will sacrifice a ram. Gotta keep those factions under control. Uh, great crusade for Jerusalem. Something is being a little bit funky there. Jumping around a lot. All right. I don't really want to face another crusade, I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Tripping me out a little. I wish I hadn't, didn't have to. That would be great. I could just not. I mean, the only way to win this quickly is going to be a counter-attack on the papacy. That's what we're going to do. So the second this starts, 
We'll just sail right over here and take Rome out. Actually, we're going to prepare all that now because it's just 71 days until the crusade starts. So we'll need everyone up and running. How much money do we earn? Enough. Should be fine. Let's get off levies up as well. Right, okay. So, get our troops on ships as far as possible. And we, of course, want our friends, the Mamluks, to be part of this. Sail over here. Get our inland troops outward. And these even reach up there? No. Answer so which them. Right. All the ships go there. We'll just have our army basically ready. Jump on the papacy. The second they start acting up. Aladdin, our dear beloved son. What shall you. Oh. He's weak. Lovely. Let's make him a diplomatic person. And can we find someone who's strong to offset this a little bit for him? Well. Okay, okay. Pause, 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 please. Fifty six days left. We will be very ready for this. will strike at the heart of their faith as our Muslim brothers from all over will go ahead and defend our realm for us in our valiant absence. Thirty-one days. We'll just have everyone ready in time. Onto the ships, everyone, directly, please. The second the crusade starts, we're going to sail off, even if we don't catch everyone. People are already annoyed with us. For having all these troops active. There they go. And off we sail. And we will keep these basically as an anchor point. For troops to rally around. I'm not so sure if this is going to work out, but I don't see much of a different option. 
You could try and fight off the Crusader armies as they come in. But I don't see that working out too well. So what we will do is we'll land here in Capia and attack straight north with our troops being led by the right people. Just straight up slaughter them. Not even gonna wait all that long. Attack the papal troops. In hopes of number superiority taking care of the morale issue we have here. Okay, very good. So now we need to split this real quick. How many troops can this hold? 23,000. Hold. Not enough. This can hold enough. So that's what we're going to do. We'll just sit our armies here and siege the hell out of the papacy in hopes of not being overrun. What we're also going to do is we're going to move our fleets around a bit so we get a bit of a better overview of what's going on here. Just sail a few ships around. So we get um, sight on the coastal regions around us. So we know where they are moving, if they're moving on to us. I'm actually pretty excited for this. Let's see how it goes for us in the end. Do we have any sort of siege people available? I see one already. Might be the only one we can get. Good, let's get him into his posting. And he'll lead this army. So this is basically the best trick against defeating a crusade or for de defeating a crusade. They're going to come to you anyway. That's usually not really avoidable as such. Oh, we could do something here maybe. That army. Try at least, but we need to keep an eye on our troops at home. Well, at home. It's not really at home, but away. We will go into battle here. It's not it's not going well for us, as you can see. They fielded more people than we. I'd hoped that more troops would come with us, but... They didn't. So beating off, and I don't want to say that in a way you understand it now. But to beat back, fight back a crusade, it's best to actually strike at the heart of where it originates. Especially if you can capture the Pope. That generally means it's done. We can't really attach our troops because it's our war, so we need to do something here. There it is. Keep sieging down. Quickly as we can. Even ending it on a white piece would be good. But it might not be possible.
There's a whole big blob coming for us. We have the right people in charge of our armies. The blob is probably walking on us. Nope, they're standing still. They do have the high ground. Actually, oh no, we raised our own levies. So let's see how this works out. Probably not too well, but we'll try anyway. I mean, there are more people coming. So we might still have a chance. Speaking of chance, we need Chancellor. Let's have it be someone who loves us, dear. So far, we're not facing any opposition. Sieging down the papacy. But we are losing this because for some reason this army is walking here instead of supporting us. Look at all these immense troops moving around here. I swear we have very little chance of ever dealing with that. Okay. South away from these big mega blobs. And I think we're just running into one mega blob. Are we combined into a bigger mega blob than they have? So that's that's something for once. But there are still Christian armies on the move towards us. Yeah, there you go. Even if you get most of your troops combined, you're not going to get them. And you could argue, yeah, but why didn't you bring your troops in? Doesn't matter. <laughs> Look at all this. Look at all these armies. There's not much we can do in conventional warfare down there. So our little intrigue there is probably the best way to go about it. The Holy Roman Empire is not even in this war. Interesting. Where did our blob get to over there? We will try and go back into the thick of things here. I don't even know where to go. Doesn't really seem to matter much. Anywhere we can go is basically bad for us. We'll just join the fightings. As we see them. The fightings, yeah. Okay, this one is done. Can you support this? No, you can't. So we need to split this. Move it apart a bit. And again, my troops arrive just a bit too late to push the Crusaders back well enough. The only hope we have is sieging out here. Really the only thing we can hope for to win this. I mean, I would love to just take out smaller armies in the south here or something. But they are going to be immediately joined by the bigger armies. Really not much to be done. So we just have to siege out everything here. All we really can do. Okay, there is no white piece in this. There isn't even the option for a white piece. Oh man. 
So as you can see, we might win this one. But there is a death blob right there waiting to jump on us. Anyway. So we need to move away immediately. In hopes of not getting crushed. By this huge army. These huge armies. That's, that's plural. That's not one army there. Several multi-thousand troops. We don't have a lot of troops here. Really isn't much. Looks like a lot. It ain't. Why is there no white piece? That is very annoying. That we can't have a white piece on a crusade. Where are you? Can we maybe manage to kill him? Involve a few people here. I don't think a, a crusade ends if the Pope is killed. Not necessarily, not immediately. We need to have a bit of an eye on this. Because he's sieging my little garrison down there. Don't particularly enjoy. We've achieved victory somewhere here. Walking into another battle. The best you can really hope for is that the, the papal armies, the crusaders, just kind of kill themselves through attrition. But that's a very vain hope. All right, maybe we can win this one, even despite their reinforcements that they received in between. Did, and for some reason that didn't count. What? For nothing? That's not a that's not a fight you should take. We need to move back a little bit. Back a little. Maybe go here. Why did we all of a sudden jump down so far? Battles are really not helping us. Did the last battle even count? Battle of Sutri. Is that what we just fought in? No? Is there a battle of Ascalon? Yeah, down there. Yeah, as silly as it sounds, this this is our best option to win this. Ideally, honestly, we would pull out all our troops. Maybe we can force our allies to hatch here instead of running around like headless chicken. Trying to find some things. They don't get beaten all the time. Everyone just attach. Everyone send your troops here. We'll take these ships and bring whatever I have in terms of troops down there. What is this even? 193. That's all I got down there. So no, you can just stay here. Help anything. We still have armies left that we could raise. A few. Question is where. Let's see where we raise them. Okay, we could only raise 1,000 without endangering them. 
They're all over here. I mean, let's bring them in. At least to fight in the homeland. Let's bring them here. Let's combine what we got in troops down here. See how far it gets us. More than nothing. Sieges are continuing. Okay. Trying here. Trying. We'll stay put and fight, indeed. Are we leading troops somewhere? I believe we are. Oh yes, we are leading troops up here. <laughs> Alright, so let's see how this crusade ends up working for us. Uh, so far it's not looking good. Because they have just a crazy amount of army capacity that we can't hope to match. Unless they die of attrition. Which they're very unlikely to do. We'll rally our troops down here. See what we can accomplish with it. Yeah, let's see. 